And we're back to another episode of Let's Play Grandia. I'm your host, Nick Legato. So, I did that little lap around the base, even though there's no enemies because I killed them all on the bottom floor. Still, a little annoying, but it must be done. Okay, so I pressed, we want to make sure we press both blue buttons. I think we need to press that one again. Let me think about it for a second. Alright, murdered them. Let's see, what do we got here? This should be the pirate's hat or whatever. Pirate Helm. Let's go ahead and equip that on somebody, anybody. Probably Fina. No, she can't wear it. He... Okay, so it looks like only Justin can wear it, so... We will use it accordingly. As it appears that that's what Gadwin has on him. Surprisingly, the fish sword is stronger than the Himmler. So is that... He's wearing the thick armor. Interesting. Can we actually equip the Himmler on? Yeah, we can. But we're going to sell it. And actually, what we should do is put the Himmler back on to Gadwin. For the most part. There's a good reason for that, too. Because the Him we want to keep the sword, the strongest sword available to us at all times. Is really what it comes down to. Okay, so we've done all that. End up here, which it's gold, it's some moonies, you might call it. Right, I think we need to head back up the next stairway here, so let's go ahead and do that. I think we we need to go up this way. And yes, I was right. So let's fight this fight here. All right, murdered that fool. And as we come to another room with lots and lots of enemies behind weapon racks. But this time we're just going to fight them right straight out. Okay, so we won that. Oh yeah, one other thing I wanted to point out. When you get all the magic for Justin, you can actually see all the skills he can learn. So he's got a freaking smorgasbord of skills, but it's going to take a lot of work to get his skills up to the point where he can do it. So that's why we're still working weapons like mace, because the mace is usually requires the highest level. And because of that, we have to work on it the most. Next to axe, and then last but not least, sword. Alright, so kill that fool. We're still moving, 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 moving. We find some gold. Which is always good. Um, did I miss something? I have a feeling I missed something here. Couldn't have missed anything. There's nothing here to miss. So never mind. Alright, let's keep moving. Running, 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 running down the rope we go. Let's get down that rope. Get down that rope! Okay, and there's some money in here, some switches, some shields, and other things. And it tells me enemies will flood into the room like the coming of the woman's once a month tribulation. Well, well, no, surprisingly not. Just open the stairway. So let's take that up. And what are we looking for? I don't know, we're gonna see something here. It looks like it rotates that bridge. So that's pretty much the game's way of saying now we've gotta go all the way back to the other and go to the back to the other side of the tower where that thing is. Son of a nut, let's go. One of the things we can do to make that a little bit more tolerable. Is level up water. The cheap way. Oh, it doesn't work. I thought it would have worked. Oh well. Let's go ahead and climb up here. And set up and over. Yeah, just got a long way to go to get back. Oh, God. Like I said, if I really want to level up water. Which I might do just to help Justin out because he's going to need that help because it's just really hard for him to level water up right now. We'll have to probably look into some other means. This is right. This is empty. We'll go up this way. This is a complete waste of time. They should have just put the thing right where I could get to it. But no. Well, see, the assumption is is that you've been dodging enemies. Is what I think the de developers were assuming that you were enemy dodging, and because of your lack of good gameplay 
you decided to avoid all said enemies. And, you know, that's what I'm thinking the, the vibe is from a, that you were avoiding enemies trying to get here. So this is their way of making you, forcing you, in a sense, to go back through the area and maybe have to fight enemies you would have had, you would not have had to fight before. Through, or try, trying to avoid them again, thus getting into a battle in and itself. Whatever. Makes sense. Leave me alone. Alright, let's go ahead and head across the bridge, the red bridge, as we come to a save point and a staircase up. So before we do that, we do our famous healing session. Whoever needs it gets it, and it looks like nobody's hurt, surprisingly. We're just low on... We just need to recover and people to save. Okay, we're all saved up here. Let's go ahead and head upstairs. Let's see what we got to do to survive this... To help save the village here, because this is obviously the top of the dungeon. What is this? Okay. He looks so... Oh, shit. Apparently pissed it off. And what's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, great. Nice going, Justin. Let's just piss it off, you know? Alright, so let's throw down. This is probably the hardest boss we've had to fight in this game to date. So just be careful. Alright, so let's see. we got to fight the serpent now. The first thing people usually want to do is go out with Justin and start, you know, killing things and whatnot. First things first, let's... The only thing I usually let Gadwin do in this battle is to slow down the mean head while we use our powers to take out the other heads here. So I'm going to throw out Crackling, because it will hit all of the enemies there. Because we're going to get hit by stuff no matter what we do. So there's no point in trying to avoid the inevitable. And since I want to kill the heads, all the heads, AoE attacks are perfect for this battle. And, and, and it, uh, so we can do this, as somebody got cancelled out, it looked like Justin. Um, let's go for critical. Let's put it on this, that head there. Ow. It's a tough boss. But that's the head we've got to take out first. The one that just threw that out. It's just in a stun for the moment, so we're just going to have to deal with it. Let's see if we can hit him with a crackling this time. Killer bite. Oh, no! Oh, I canceled my moves. This is what makes this battle tough. Let's take a shot at it here. We're trying to do the best that we can. Let's go with... Zap, because we have a chance of paralyzing enemies. But we're specifically going after the nice head and the mean head is our real goal here. Since all of the parts are going to get an attack out soon, let's have... Fina throw out an, an all heal just to be on the safe side. Burn to a crisp. Let's see if we can stun any of these bastards with this spell here. Now you'll be okay. We're probably gonna have to go all out with Gadwin because we're still we're we had a little bit of trouble clean recovering from that. We get hit with hot gas. So he went right after Gadwin, but it didn't hit Sue. Oh, great. Incoming! Who did it actually go after? I eh, hit two of them. Uh, burn Flame. See, we don't have much, op many options with Gadwin. But let's go with Dragon Cut, because that'll hit everything and do some serious damage. And no matter what, that thing's going to keep recovering every turn, so we really need to focus on killing that sucker. Sue, you're going to do your rah-rah? Because we're going to get hit with another multi-hit spell soon, so... Oh, my soul hurts a little bit just from watching that. But Sue is total going to be totally nothing but support for us. Gadwin will put a big dent in him. The Dragon King Slice, baby! Booyah, motherfucker! But even that wasn't very strong compared to what some of our other characters can do. We get hit with a damn stun gas again, but luckily nobody's too stunned to do anything about it. So we're gonna hit him with a crackling. What we're doing is getting hit by the hot gas. Let's lotus cut the healing head, the nice head here. See if we can take that sucker out. Go after Gadwin. No! But 
it didn't cancel us out, so this is still our chance here. It's crackling AoE everything. And Justin should be able to finish off that last, the nice head. And if not, he'll move to another head. Um, if that one dies from this, which it won't, probably. Oh, it did. Burn, burn. Or one of them died. The mean head. Okay, so we, but we still got that other head we gotta deal with. So first things first, we're gonna kill that son of a bitch. And throw a defense loss, since we gotta get hit by the gas anyway. Yeah. Put Gadwin to use here. Since again, I'm not really aiming for... There we go. I'm not really aiming for Gadwin to level his skills up. Now that we, now the battle should start kind of... We should be able to control this battle a little bit more in our favor here. Let's go with Zap. How much health does it have? 88? Zap will be perfect. And it's fast enough too, so that's the big concern. Burn to a crisp. What he said. We hit him with Zapola again. Yeah. He's dead, biatch. Alright, let's throw out an all healer. If we kinda need it. The big one, yeah. And then we'll throw out the move. We'll remove. Where is it? Spell. Oh, wait a minute. It's a move block, isn't it? Okay, so we, she can't do it. So, oh well, we'll let her defend. Because there's only, what, now one head okay. left? Two heads left? One head left. Yeah. This boss is almost toast. But then you can see what it took to do it, though. I mean, it's, it's a tough battle. It starts off nasty, and it, one of the tactics is you can just take out the body, but even then, you know, you're, you're really risking it. You're really risking getting murdered by the boss, so that's why we, we didn't even bother. We went straight for each of the heads one by one, and killing them with AoE as best as we could. And as you can see, like master, like man. Like what he said. Um, great battle. Probably the hardest battle we've had to fight since we've been playing this game, so... We get some good experience. Look at that. That's that's beautiful. That that that, that, that thing there is beautiful leveling right there. Too bad Justin can't level up his water, but we're gonna probably have to do that outside or something because I don't want to waste time trying to level that thing. Next, just pulled out the spear of heroes. Oh God. Alright, well, shoot. I guess it ain't always that easy. Since I'm sure we're still wounded from the last battle, let's go ahead and do what we can. Somebody has the ability to cure this. Yes, here it is. Sweet! And Justin... Oh, healer. I guess I'm just on himself. Lame. 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 As we press this button here, let's see what happens. There's a big old zoom out here. Holy shit, it's moving! And it looks like we can, it makes a giant stairway. Hey, cute. Interesting. Okay. A little elaborate, but why not? As we are done there, let's head up the stairs here. And we head into the final room. The final room! Let's see what the big deal is about this place. As we are continuing to climb the tower. Ring ends here in the room of the mirrors of destiny. This tower's final trial for the of the hero, huh? Great. Now I gotta read more crap. What do you want me to do next? Dance a freaking jig? Let's see. So what was the point? Why couldn't you just freaking tell me? You don't say. What 
What if, what if you choose the wrong road? Interesting. What a brave man. Don't die, Gadwin! No! I like this. You're starting to like this Gadwin now. He's not so corny. He's not as corny as he was before. You know, but whatever. <laughs> Let's see here. Farewell, Justin. Fail! Walk sideways. Tablet of Trial says, you must take this road. Well, that's fucking spectacular. Well, let's go this way. Oh, well, what's this one again? I voting for stars. Moon is always kind of a scary thing. Ah, oh, great. Now we're going to get lectured here. You're talking crazy. Don't do it. Don't let her do it. Holy crap. I wouldn't even let my I wouldn't even let a what my wife choose. Talk about fate. Holy crap. It's kinda scary when you think of it. Oh yeah, you know, I'll just choose for you, it'll be okay. choose anyway. Yes, yes, of course I'll come back. Here we go. Well, that's what you think now. You're not there yet, jackass. Don't prematurely uh, be victorious. There could be another trial coming up. Dun, dun, dun. So quick, you know, to assume that you made it. <laughs> and then boom, it explodes in a million pieces, and Justin's body parts are flying everywhere. Just kidding. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, crap. Lee! Da 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 da. You chose poorly. What the hell? His Johnson is glowing. Not again. It's like a bad porno. And thus, something happens. We'll find out in a minute. Pull up the Spear of Heroes. What happened to Justin? A few hours remain till the tower collapses. Did I read that right? A slow falling tower. Oh god, as Gadwin 
man handles both women here. Both the woman and the girl. <laughs> They're not both women yet. Only one of them is barely a woman. Holy crap, it's starting to fall! The tower's falling! It's falling! So we get a little miniature scene here. Dun, 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 dun. Timber! <laughs> wow. Well, so that ends the game. Justin died. But died is saved. <laughs> Just kidding. Why I didn't have to take these two back, I would kill myself right now. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Holy shit! It's like real magic. Justin, what? <laughs> Justin! Are you alright? Are you yeah, hurt? My pride is a little hurt, but. Are you kidding? Uh... I'm just fine. Wow! Justin, you're like a real hero! That's right. You're just the man I knew you'd be. You're creeping me out there. R really? Come on, Gadwin. You're gonna make me get embarrassed. Justin. Bina, how about that? I did it. Aren't you impressed? Oh yeah, you did it. She chose a fucking mirror. Fruitcake. Oh, ten points. What? What the heck was that for? Uh-oh. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> you fool. I... <laughs> Look at me. I'm crying. <laughs> You have no idea how worried I was. <laughs> Bina. Promise me, Justin. Promise that you'll never, ever worry me like that again. I... I'm sorry. I promise. I'll never make you cry again. I swear. Justin. You... You had me really, really worried. Let's fuck celebrate. Do it! Now, Gadwin will take Sue back. We can, it we, we can deal with it. <laughs> look, <laughs> such a jackass. Look, look, everyone, over there. Of it's course, you rainbow. noticed a freaking rainbow. Nobody else cares. They were about to make out, and you had to point out a fucking rainbow. Oh my god. Ugh. So that ends the tower's existence. Yay! Hooray! All characters MP is filled to full. All the enemies have respawned, it looks like. But that's not true. Looks to be true. So, but we don't really need to fight them. All we need to do is get back down the mountain. That's my intention. It's fighting all of them again is a little overrated. So that's why I'm just avoiding them right now. Is it's mostly just molds. Um, mold birds. Oh my god! murdered them yeah and we got like crappy experience too so you know like I said it's not worth refighting anything on this mountain because we just went through all that crap to me though it's surprising and I am walking through this intentionally it is surprising though in my opinion that they even make you bother with it but more specifically it's kind of funny that um, the tower is gone, because that would have been a great place to be leveling skills and characters. To explain probably why the reason that it's gone. So really quick, before we leave this area, I'm going to melt in some of the old, good old fashioned fluids here. Let's see how are we looking? Pretty hurt. That's a good thing. Let's go ahead and use healer. Let's see if that actually gives more. It's hard to tell. 
che it's not as it's not cheaper actually. Get everybody's healed. Let's jump in, dive right in again. And as you can see, I am just totally exploiting the healing system here. That's what I'm all about, baby. Yeah. Give me that free level of water. All right, so 69. Still got two more castings of it to go. And I'm going to do this once, maybe even twice when I have Fina. Well, no, just once. And with each character, because I don't think after this we can return. I don't think we can return here, so... Obviously that won't work if we can't return, so... It's a shame that we couldn't max it out, but that's why we have level 1 healing available too. <laughs> Which will give us maybe 4 to 8 experience of use or whatever. Let's see, magic. Mmm, tastes like healing. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing this until we run out of MP for all char the two characters of magic, so we'll be right back. Okay, so we screwed around with that for a while. Got Justin, I think, one and a half levels or so, one and a quarter. And Fina got two because she just has significantly more MP than Justin does, and that's just the way it works, you know. But I got him to where I'm happy, so that's and like I said, any other time later in the game when we as we progress through the game, we will you do this trick again just because it's makes it so you're not grinding water levels unnecessarily. And that does happen, so it's one of the reasons why I'm not too concerned about it. Unusable spear, huh? Let's get rid of the power shroom. Fire charm can go. We're not using it. The dragon gauntlet. Bye, health weed. We will store those mana eggs. We'll get rid of the sickle. Confusion charm we'll want to hold on to. Let's get rid of the pearl helm. And the demon amulet we'll also keep as well. So those are some things we will put in a storage plate. We will store that stuff for sure. But uh, outside that, we're not going to do too much more. So let's go into the cabin here. We'll store those items because, like I said, we may find a use for them later. I just don't see the use for them then. So I'd rather stash quote-unquote questionable gear. The disease charm. Um, the mana eggs, obviously, will for sure go in there. Oh, we sold the health weed. Whatever. Um, the confusion charm. We'll keep the rest. We'll keep the rest of that. Let's go ahead and lodge up. That way we're pretty safe. Okay, so we've done that. Oh boy. So let's go ahead and run around. We need to head to the beach, I think. Thank yeah. We gotta talk to Gramps here. And we're gonna be thrusting our way. Pelvic thrusting or just thrusting? The adventure has come from afar. Okay, so it looks like it's up to us to do the thrusting. Thrust! Oh yeah, baby. You like it when I put that spear inside your hole. And thus, the, the town of Dite is saved. All that trouble to save a town. Weren't we supposed to be getting to a lent at some point? Or did we just completely ignore doing that? <laughs> Thanks to you, the village has been saved. You bet it has been. Because some of us have, unlike you, some of us have mad skills. What is he giving us here? What is this? Chose that mirror, I probably would have been killed. God. 
Their drama is just painful. Okay, so. Uh, we're all looking around these affairs. Over the Llama Mountains is Gumbo Village. Go right to the ruins, you don't say. Anyway, Gumbo is a warm and friendly village. Yeah, just like this was supposed to be a warm and friendly village. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like Gadwin comes with us still. So we still get Gadwin around. Um, you know, so, well, we'll figure that all out. But on the, so on the next episode of Let's Play Grandia, we head to the Llama Mountains in order to get to the village of Gumbo. You know, so our adventure finally getting back on track and whatnot. So we'll see you then in the next episode of Let's Play Grandia.